you want to be able to create a database where you know you can easily go to and find information related to water quality in the area This episode of See You Live is sponsored by our friends at Morpsey, the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission, and features stories about local and regional partners that envision and embrace innovative directions in economic prosperity, transportation, sustainability, and an inclusive Central Ohio. Morpsey's transformative programming, innovative services, and public policy initiatives are designed to promote and support the vitality and growth in the region. For more information, visit morpsey.org or click the link in the video description. Hi, my name is Tijan Mormon and I'm a reporter for Columbus Underground. I'm here with Dr. Edwina Tay. She's an associate planner for uh, Morpsey. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I first wanted to ask you about what current projects Morpsey is working on um, in terms of water quality and conservation. Right. So one of our current um, projects is Sustaining Sayodo. Sustaining Sayodo was a study that was concluded in 2015 by Mopsi and some of its partners. And the goal of this was to essentially identify the risk um, to our water resources by virtue of climate change. Right. Um, we wanted to know Aside climate change, actually, we know that Central Ohio is going to be a region of about 3 million people by 2015. So that population growth, in addition to the impact of climate change, is definitely going to have an impact on our water resources. And through the study, the results of the study led to the development of adaptive strategies to help us manage um, the water resources in, our, in this region. Um, one working team that has come out of all of this um, work that we are doing is the Ag and Rural Communities Outreach Team, of which I facilitate that working team. And we want to be able to use our regional convener cloud as an organization to bring these two groups or two, two stakeholders onto the table and to determine ways um, within which we can um, protect our water resources and reduce the impact of climate change on these um, two, two, two stakeholders, right? So we know ag is a critical sector in our region and they're gonna be certainly impacted by climate change. And so that is why it's important for us to have them at the table and to identify ways to help mitigate the impact of climate change. So that's one. And we are also working on um, disseminating information um, with regards to outreach, with regards to mitigation um, efforts that would help us adjust or adapt to climate change. So these are some of the things that we are working on um, within the Sustaining Sayodo. Another, um, actually, another project within um, Sustaining Sayodo implementation is our water quality monitoring program, where we are trying to bring together all data related to um, water quality in Central Ohio. We want to be able to create a database where you know you can easily go to and find information related to water quality in the area. We want to have a centralized system that everyone can access. Um, so I think these are some of the projects that we are working on um, related to water quality and conservation. And so you mentioned uh, population growth as it relates to this. Um, what considerations do we need to make in terms of population growth and how it relates to water conservation? Right. So we need to provide drinking water to our population, right? And if we have this projected population growth, we need to make sure that we have enough um, water to meet our growing needs. Aside um, providing drinking water um, and making sure that there is enough and that, you know, these sources are secure because we know that um, climate change is going to test uh, water resources, but we need to make sure that we are protecting it and making sure that the, that the water resources are secure for that projected population growth. Um, another um, aspect is with population growth comes employment growth. How are we going to absorb um, this expected population growth? And so we are going to determine how that industrial impact would be on our water resources. Um, one key area is um, centralized sewer systems. We need to ensure that we are planning um, in a way that meets the needs of um, our population growth. So all of these things are very critical as we think of um, Central Ohio becoming a region of about 3 million people in 2050. Well, thank you so much for talking with me about water conservation and quality. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. 
Thank you for having me once again. Mm.